left Yorkshire. Land of the gods. Heading towards the Lake District, I'm going to go meet Mark this weekend. Uh, it's my second coldest wild camp. Um, I've got the Trangier stove. I'm going to make a ramen bomb, which I saw a, another YouTuber make. I will leave the, uh, the details of his video uh, underneath. Um, both, well, Mark has, has made it, he wasn't keen. Um, a lady that's coming with us this evening, Marie, she's made it, she wasn't keen, although her two children were. So, uh, this evening, I'm going to be making that, and then tomorrow I'm going to be making some bacon sandwiches because um, at uh, Dub's Hut, um, forgot the bacon and I'd promised Mark it. So, we're going to set the record straight this weekend and, um, and crack on. So, uh, see you when we get there. Say nothing. I've actually been up here before and uh, we're not far away from when we're going to pitch the tent. The last time I drove down here I thought the, the road in to this car park which is just at the bottom, just sort of over there and there's a road I highly recommend coming to Horswater and I've, well, just come and have a look, it's beautiful, really beautiful. So first time I've actually met uh, Marie, uh, first time I've met Simon, although uh, Simon and I have been internet friends for, uh, for many moons. Um, great people. Uh, the little dog, gorgeous, I caught myself blowing it, uh, you know, a little kiss and saying hello to it as humans do to dogs, we are stupid. Um, yeah, we need to get these tents up, it's spitting just a little bit, but we're alright. Everybody's happy and I'm running warm as usual. Truth of the matter, the oldest amongst us is first there. Just behind him is the water. Well done, Mark.
Right, I'm not much of a bragging person, I am what I am, but uh, something's just happened and um, I'm, I'm quite pleased, so I'm going to brag a little bit. I've just been given a kettle, and this kettle has a poem written about it. Beat that. So the, uh, the crack is with these burners, you've got to wait until it actually starts to gasify. So you see those little holes at the top? What's going to happen is as the, the liquid gets round and starts to warm up, that those flames will then start to come out of those little, uh, those little holes on the outside. So give it a bit of time. If you put the pan on now, there's a good chance you'll just suffocate it and snuff it out. Okay, this is the start of the ram bomb. Uh, one half of a, well, say smallish onion, uh, smaller than a, a tennis ball, and that's just chopped. And then those are the sort of Aldi pepper army equivalent, but they're the spicy ones. So uh, that's the start of it. I'm going to put some coconut uh, oil in there, and then I'm going to pop that on top of the trangier just to start the coconut oil off warming. When that uh, saucepan has boiled, I'm going to take that off, that'll go straight onto the heat, just lightly fry it. All I'm doing is making the onions relax and just warming up that, um, that pepper army. Then the water can go in, then the noodles once it comes to a bit of a boil. Uh, seasoning for the noodles and, uh, and then finally thicken it all up with some potato, uh, sorry, some mashed potato. So stay tuned, it is tasty, these guys have tried it, they didn't like it, they're going to try mine and they will love it. Right, that's the uh, onion pepper army, a uh, bit of coconut oil and the seasoning, so there's some dried chilli and uh, dried garlic all in there, and you can just hear it starting to warm up. Here. Blue cheese, steak, what, what potatoes have you got, is there anything fancy about them? Or just... It's, it's just buttery Idaho moth. Now, this is particularly glamping, isn't it? It is, aye. It's very good. <laughs> <laughs> I've, got yeah. a, um, I've got a Merlot to wash it down with. Yeah. <laughs> Have you got any candles lit yet? No? No, no not yet. No. <laughs> I've, got the, um, I've got the electronic um, light thing on. I've got the music. I'm sorted. Nice. Very nice. Are you staking it up as well? I'm staking it up as well. I heard we were all doing steak, so I thought... I'll oh no, I'm ramen bomb. Are you ramen? I'm ramen, ramen bombing. You'll be ramen bombing in the Simon's morning. Simon's a proper chef. Try it. I'll tell you See what. You. Huh? Simon's a chef. All right. So I'm going to get a proper chef's opinion of me ramen bomb affair then. Do we have to eat it? Yes, you do. Very nice. Looking not too bad. I'd wait until the veg, because I've got a load of veg marinated up as well. Yeah. And then I'm going to chuck that in as well. Have you got any potatoes out like that? No, I'd, I'm not a big potato fan. All right. I don't do potatoes. Ramen bombs up for you then, pal. No. <laughs> How's Marie? I'm alright. How are we cooking? Just starting. Well, boiling. Are you staking it up as well? I am. <laughs> right, so I'll just go back to the third world camp over here where we're having <laughs> ramen bombage. <laughs> yeah, wind's picked up a bit. I've put, a, I've put another layer on. Because it is cold. Or getting cold. Not many uh, clouds in the sky either. You can hear it cooking. Or oh, burning! Oh no, that ain't good. Uh -uh. Right. Homemade jerky. Yummy. It is really cold. I'm just actually finding my gloves and I found this first, so I'm going to nibble on this and then put my gloves on. <laughs> right. Um, I saw Nathan. Uh, that light in the distance over there is uh, Mark's uh, party tent, as he calls it. So uh, they're all sat in there, they've all eaten, had a brew, all the rest of it. And this is why I don't think this Aldi burner 
Trangia rip off is uh, is really meant for the mountains. Um, yeah, quite hungry. There's, it's just not. It isn't putting enough flame out. It's just. It's not putting enough heat out. Is what I'm trying to say. Uh, yeah, it's just a waiting game. But they're all having a lovely time over there in the tent of party, and I'm malnourished, freezing, all alone. With no one here beside me All by myself <laughs> Right, it's about half past ten um, Just come obviously back to my tent And had a really good night Loads of laughter, loads of banter just just good fun the sky outside is so clear I can't photograph what I've seen which is a real I mean I, I don't have many regrets but I love to be able to show you what I've seen tonight so the only way to sort of get out here and and see it for yourself is to do it <laughs>